Welcome to a math warehouse video on where do lines meet. This is video 1.2, systems 1.2 on solving systems of linear equations. Here we're going to look at the elimination method to solve systems of equations. That'll be the first part. The second part we're going to look at a really cool online tool for checking out your work. And you can find all of this on our website mathwarehouse.com system. Plus you can find some other goodies like a free worksheet and answer key and some interactive tools. Okay. So we want to be able to look at equations like the one you see on the screen here and find out their solution. Now in the first video we talked about what that meant. Quick recap, when we have two linear two lines and we want to find out their solution or where they intersect, um, that basically can come down to either there being zero solutions, maybe they never meet for parallel lines, one solution, or infinite solutions. Now to understand today's tutorial, a little background prerequisite knowledge is remembering a few things about equations. First off, um, if I said x, sorry, if I said 3x plus, actually let me change it to make our tutorial easier. Let's do this. If I said x plus 2y equals 12, we'll look at that equation later. And since I know that the left side equals the right side, as long as I do the same thing, whatever that is, multiply, divide, add, and I do it to both sides, my equation is still true. So in other words, I can multiply, if I want, both sides of this equation by 2, and I'll get 2x plus 4y equals 24. Or I could multiply by negative 2 and get negative 2x plus negative 4y equals negative 24. Point being, if I have an equation, we can do the same thing to both sides and still have a true, valid, unchanged, equivalent equation. The other thing that's neat about equations is you can add them and subtract them. Since the left side equals the right side for both equation A and equation B, x plus y equals 10, x minus y equals 8, what you can do if you want is you can add them or subtract them and you'll still end up with an, with an equal true valid equation. And let's see what happens when we add equation A to equation B. Well we get 10 plus 8, we're adding them here, we get 18. Here something awesome happens, we get plus y minus y or 0 and we get 2x. So 2x equals 18. Now Notice we are in a very different situation than we were up top. Now we have one equation, one variable, which means we can actually solve for x. And we're going to find out that x equals 9. So how do we find the value for y? All we do is we're going to take our x and we're going to substitute it in there. And we'll get 9 plus y equals 10. Subtract 9 from both sides and you get y equals 1. Now. I'm telling you that this is our solution, but how do you know that I'm not lying to you, making something up? All we have to do, remember, for a solution, it's going to work for both equations. Now, we can see that it's going to work for equation A, right, because um, for A, x plus y equals 10, does 9 plus 1 equal 10? I just took the x and the y's, I put them in there, it does. What about B? This is x minus y equals 8, does 9 minus 1 equal 8? Yes. So this is a valid solution for the system. And that is what elimination is. Elimination is choosing a variable to target it and eliminate it by doing whatever you need to to make them cancel out. And I'll explain more what I mean about doing whatever you need to in example 2. Let's look at example 2. If I just add these equations like last time, if I were to do that, Let's see if that helps us. Hmm, what do we get? We get 4x plus 6y equals 16. Two equations, sorry, one equation, two variables. This is not helpful. So it, the answer isn't always to add them. Remember, our, your goal is to target a variable to eliminate. <coughs> okay, you want to target a variable to eliminate. And when we just added the two equations, although it's valid math and it will end up with another true equation, it doesn't help us achieve this goal of targeting a variable to eliminate. 
So what you want to do is you want to look at your x's and your y's, and you want to see, hey, is there any way I can make them additive inverses? It's a fancy way of saying, can I make them something like this? Like here's examples of additive inverses: three and three, negative three, five, negative five. Um, over here, y and sorry, no, y and negative y. They, notice they were when we added them, they became zero. When we add three and negative three, we get zero. So, hmm. Neither one of these on, in and of themselves is an additive inverse. However, remember, we can multiply both sides of our equation by any number and get an equivalent valid equation. In fact, if we multiply the top by negative 2, look what we get. Negative 2x, negative 4y. And negative 4y and 4y do indeed add up to 0 and help us eliminate the y variable. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to multiply <clears throat> the top equation by negative 2. You see the work we did it earlier. And what we end up with, let's rewrite our system. We end up with negative 2x plus negative 4y, or just negative 4y, of course. You can write it either way, equals negative 24. And the same equation on the bottom, 3x plus 4y equals 4. Now, what do we want to do with these equations? Now we're in this uh, situation where if we just add them, life is great because these guys have been targeted and eliminated. 3x minus 2x gives us x, uh, and x equals negative 20. Okay, so step one is to target a variable to eliminate and multiply or do whatever you need to do to make um, to make the one variable that you target be eliminated, right? You want an additive inverse. And if you remember what we did after that is we then, the second step is to substitute, right? We've got an x of negative 2, and we can put that into either equation to get our y value. I'm liking the top equation here because um, it's a nice, simple 1x. So we've got negative 2 plus 2y equals 12. Just have to solve for um, for 2y, right? Let's add 20 to both sides. Plus 20, plus 20 gives us 2y equals 32. Divide both sides by 2, y equals 16. So our solution is x equals negative 20, y equals 16. And you know, you can verify your work by substituting these into both equations. You can put the x here, the y there, and the equation should work out. And you can take the x here into the into this and the y substituted for that, and it should also work out. And it does work out. I, I won't waste your time by re-verifying it, but that's the general approach. Let's try another example or two. Quick recap. Target a variable to eliminate. Look for look for an equation. Or look for a variable where it's like, oh, you only need to multiply by one thing. Like in this case, it was negative 2 with the x, sorry, with the y, so that we could eliminate it. Once you then added the equations and eliminated the variable, you solve for that variable. Um, in this case, it was simple. It was just x equals negative 20. It was immediately solved. Substitute in the, the, the variable's value into either equation. Get the second val variable's value, y for us. And that's your solution. Double check it if you want to verify um, that everything went well. All right, let's look at um, the hardest example that um, we're going to look at today, I think. Example 3, 2x plus 3y equals 10. 3x plus 4y equals 18. So remember, step one is to target a variable. <clears throat> so you look at this, and you have to ask yourself, is there any variable that's just begging to be eliminated? And not really. Notice this is a little different from the prior examples where here the y's were set up to be eliminated. Plus y, negative y. All we had to do was add variable eliminated. Here, 2y and 4y, well, it was easy. We just multiplied the 2y by negative 2 to get our additive inverse. Here, there isn't anything that 
you know, is, it lends itself so easily to this. So what you actually have to do is choose either variable. It really doesn't matter. Let's choose the x's. And how can I get them to be additive inverses? Well, I've got a 2x, I've got a 3x. If we make both of them 6x, or make one of them negative 6x and one of them positive 6x, we're good. So what do we have to do here? We have to multiply the top by 3, or negative 3, actually. Top equation by negative 3, the bottom equation by 2. Then we will have our nice additive inverse that we, that we want. Okay, so all we have to do is multiply negative 3 times each term. Don't forget to distribute. And this top equation becomes negative 3x minus 9y equals minus 30. Sorry, negative 3 times 2 should be negative 6x. Let me fix. Okay, could I quickly fix that? Negative 3 times 2 is actually negative 6x. Negative 3 times 3, negative 9y. Negative 3, 10, negative 30. 2 times the entire bottom equation. 2 times 3x, 6x. 2 times 4y is 8y. 2 times 18 is 36. And now we have our nice 6 and negative 6. And all we have to do is add them. The 6s go away. Negative 9y plus 8y is negative 1y equals negative 30 plus 36 equals 6. So multiply both sides by negative 1. And we'll have y equals negative 6. So now we can take this y equals negative 6 and substitute it into either equation to, to solve for x. And I'll, I'll use the top equation. So 2x plus 3 times negative 6. Just taking this, putting it in there equals 10. 2x minus 18 equals 10. Let's add 18 to both sides. So plus 18 plus 18 gives us 2x equals 28. Divide both sides by 2. x equals 14. And that's our solution. x equals 14 y equals negative 6. Now let's quickly recap this method. Um, your goal is to target a variable. Right? A variable that you're going to eliminate. Best case scenario is you have variables with the same coefficient or, or positive 1 and negative 1. Um, they're very easy. You can just, all, in this case, like you have example 1, you just add them and you get rid of the first variable. The second base case is where you simply have to multiply one equation times something. Here we had to multiply the top equation by negative 2 to give us the nice 4y and negative 4y that we wanted. And the least favorable case for elimination is when there are, when, when our variable coefficients like the 2 and the 3 and the 3 and the 4 here just don't lend themselves to this method. And what you actually have to do is you know, multiply the top equation by some number, like negative 3, bottom equation by a different number, type like 2, to get what we want. And then it's simply to substitute the solved variable into the, an equation to get the second variable's value, and that's your solution. All right, so I want to show you how you can check your work for solving any kind of system equation with this awesome free tool, metacalculator.com. Okay, just go to www.meta-calculator.com. What we want to use is the Scientific Calculator's Equation Solver. Now, this thing is awesome. You can enter any set of equations in here, hit the Solve button, right? A little bit below, you'll see it's right where my cursor is, but a little, it's right here. You can't see it because of the screen size. Um, and bam, your solutions will be shown to you. Okay, so I quickly entered the two equations we just solved. 2x plus 3y equals 10, 3x plus 4y equals... Oh, no, we didn't do these. These are two different equations. And if you want to find the answer, all you do is hit the Solve button a little below the what you can see, and there you go. The solution is x 
equals 14y equals negative 6. So this is a great way for you to check your work whenever you're trying to solve systems of linear equations. You can enter the two equations in, whatever they are, in whatever form you want, and then hit the solve button, and that's your solution. Alternately, of course, you can go to the graphing calculator, and you could graph the two equations. And the neat thing about this calculator is you can write the equations in any form. You can write 3x plus 4y equals 18. You don't have to write y equals. You just put the two equations in, hit graph, and then you can see, oh, where do they meet? If I keep on going to the side, they're going to meet here. If I want to know exactly where they meet, click intersections on the two, the two equations you want to find intersected, and, um, and you can see that also. Okay? Okay, that's it for solving systems of linear equations with um, the elimination method as well as a way to double check it with meta calculator. Check out our website for free worksheets with answer keys, um, interactive applets, and other things. MathWarehouse.com/system. Thanks a lot.